We are here at Breckenridge, actually inside the resort. Um, it's a little after sunrise right now. You can see the sun sort of peeking over right now. But what we are doing today is getting up the resort before the resort actually opens. So this, this type of uphill access is something that a lot of resorts nowadays allow. Um, it's a really good way to get a workout in the morning. Um, it's a really good way to actually practice skinning, practice touring if you're new to the sport. Sort of backcountry light, I guess you could say. It's really sort of safe, confined. The only hazards you have to worry about are like snow cats, other skiers, things like that. Really popular way for locals to um, get some exercise in before or after work. I know that I personally um, really enjoy this. Early in the morning, just to get outside and sort of get your day started right. It's also really fun if you get like three to six inches of new snow. You can come up here, they'll groom it, and then if the snow falls later in the morning, um, you can actually get three inches of snow over groomed, which is sort of like what I guess you could call hero powder, hero turn. It's a really cool feeling. So um, this is something I actually really love doing. It's, if you're new to the sport, I think this is a great way to get into it. The other thing that's important to mention is that you should really look up your local mountains. Uphill access policy, it changes all over the place. Here it's free. Um, I know the places like Loveland, A Basin, you actually have to pay for it. Some places you can't even do it, so just make sure that you're following the rules if you do want to participate in the uphill access at resorts. The other thing is that there are usually designated areas that you can and can't go, so you should stay in those um, confines. We're about a fourth of the way up to the top right now. We're going to show you what it's like to sort of get up there and then skin down. It's pretty straightforward, but hopefully this gives you a good glimpse into what um, sort of an early morning local workout looks like. So. Up, uh, so uphill access like this um, is really something you can only do before lifts are running or after lifts are running. Um, the reason they do this is just because it can be kind of a hazard if you're walking uphill and you've got a whole mountain of people coming down on top of you. It's just too dangerous. Ski patrol doesn't really want to have to deal with it, um, which makes sense. So um, something that I've noticed here in Breckenridge and I think is sort of happening all over the country is the popularity of doing what we're doing right now has exploded. Um, I, we this morning have probably seen two dozen people doing this, maybe three dozen. There's, I don't know, eight people in our view right now doing it. Um, this was not the case a couple years ago. This is a relatively new phenomenon. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that backcountry skiing in general is becoming more popular. And I think people are sort of waking up to the fact that doing something like this in the morning is a good way to sort of get outside. It's a good way to develop a new relationship with the mountain. I know that one of the reasons I love doing this is because when you get up here early in the morning, the sun's rising, it's really quiet. You get the whole place to yourself. It's sort of a more intimate experience skiing. Um, you also have the benefit of getting first tracks down groomed corduroy, which certainly isn't the raddest thing in the world, but is really fun. You know, I think some people at mountains like pay for first track access like this. So it's just a really rewarding thing to do. Um, it's really sort of peaceful, quiet. I just really enjoy it for getting the day started right and getting in shape and things like that. So something else this is really nice for is if you have some new backcountry gear or you have some new touring gear that you want to try out, whether that be skis or bindings or boots or whatever. The resort this time of day is a really good testing ground for that. Um, I know I've come here and demoed skis, um, tried out new stuff just because it's a pretty risk-free environment to do that. There's not many people around um, and you get some pretty good turns in. Um, but as I was saying before, doing this in the morning is just, it's a really sort of kick-ass way to start the day. You can see the sun rising over the mountains over there can actually see the uh, Glade HQ from up here. It's down in town over there, right in that big building. Um, so, you know, at the risk of repeating myself, um, doing something like this is something that I would definitely recommend if you're looking to get into the sport or if you're looking to sort of get a slice of mountain, mountain town culture. Um, I know I have showed up at the parking lot down there before work many days. Um, without a plan in mind, without um, partners, and just either met people in the parking lot or met friends in the parking lot who had the same idea. So there's really sort of a sense of community out here. You know, when we get to the top, there'll be a lot of people transitioning, talking, chatting. Um, so it's, it's stuff like this that sort of 
makes living in a ski town really special because I think a lot of people probably don't even know that this happens and um, don't really have access to something like this. So uh, we made it to the top. It is 8.28, we're cutting it a little close. Um, but as you can see, you know, we have a wide open corduroy run. Um, it's not often that you get first tracks like this. So, you know, you do have to wake up early, you do have to hike up a mountain, but in the end it's all worth it because you get to ski a beautiful run like this on a bluebird day um, with no one around. You can see the, the lifts are completely empty right now. I would guess in about five minutes those are gonna be full of people. So we're gonna, we're gonna hustle on out of here.